Hi there, it's Sun and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I want to say Happy New Year, guys. I am still on the 29th of December, but when you guys see this, it'll be the 1st of January when I'm uploading this, obviously. Um, people still think that COVID-19 will vanish from the surface of the earth on January 1st. The president wants to cry last night and it, it's 32 degrees Celsius outside, so... We live in quite the life, okay, and I feel like what a better day to upload this in on the fir the first of January, where you guys will be setting your New Year's resolutions and all that. And I so the first tip I can give you guys is plan and organize your life daily, whether it's the day before um, time blocking what you're gonna do on like stuff like Apple Calendar or Google Calendar, or if it's writing to do list or if it's I'll, I'll put up some apps here that you can use uh just to be more organized and then feel more productive and then do more stuff done and then it's a happy new year for everyone okay so the next thing is self-development podcast listen to music that's like self-developing it doesn't necessarily have to be an uplifting the podcast that you listen to it can just be people that motivate you to do better in life not saying that you're the worst person on planet earth but obviously saying just to make you feel more confident or feel more energetic or feel more productive, stuff like that. Not not stuff that is negative and will bring you down and will make you stay in bed and watch Netflix the whole day, but stuff, but podcasts that make you feel productive and make you want to get out of bed and even YouTube videos that you want to do that motivate you to do that. I feel like it's very important because yes you can do it all by yourself because it's going to be you that makes you productive but having other people also motivate you is kind of nice next thing is to set monthly goals this is one thing that i have to start doing in 2021 i feel like even if it's not 2021 like the first of january you're watching this you can start this at any time of the year but i you can like setting monthly goals instead of new year's resolutions um, I feel like it, at the start of the year, you must make, obviously, New Year's resolutions or at any time of the year. But if you're going to be making New Year's resolutions, maybe every single month, do some goals that you want to, that will help you achieve that one New Year's, res that one New Year's resolution. And it could help you in many ways so that you can achieve it faster, first of all, because some people achieve all the new resolutions in like march april may sometime and then you don't know what to do but spacing it out will help you guys a lot because it's a lot of pressure just to say this year i must do all of this but when this year must you do it so then every month you say goals that will help you achieve that by the end of the year hopefully sooner next thing is have a routine have a morning routine have a workout routine have a night routine have a Obviously, the days are not going to be the same. Days are not the same. Stuff can happen, and those days are, are are normal. And when you want to rest, rest. Don't push yourself too much, but also push yourself to the point where you are productive and you have those routines. And this is one thing I want to do: is start de 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 developing, developing routines in twenty twenty one because I feel like yes. Is when you know what you're gonna do you're gonna have a purpose to get out of bed not just getting out of bed because oh i must wake up or oh i must go to work or school or something but having something that you can do in the morning yes the basics brush your teeth take a shower all of that but there's also other stuff that you can do like working out and all of that next thing is to wake up more earlier it's school holidays, okay? So that's the one thing that that's my excuse until the twenty seventh of January when school's back open. Um, but it's still school holidays, so you can rest. This is your time to rest. But when it's time to wake up, you must wake up, okay? So when it's time to wake up, wake up and wake up early. I'm not saying if your school starts at half past seven, wake up at four. No, I'm saying have enough time to do what you want, even have spare time. Spare time must not mean an hour, maybe it's five minutes, do whatever you want, go on your phone, I don't know. Listen to self-development podcasts and not just do the basics such as brushing your teeth, washing your face and all that. Next one is my mindfulness and taking mindfulness and taking breaks. This is one thing I must start trying to do because I feel like if I don't 
I'm not currently, let's say for example, my YouTube channel. I feel like if I'm not always working on my channel, it's not going to succeed. Yes, I must work on it a lot. And I must be so mindful to the fact where I can be like, Tando, now you are overworking. Because there's a difference between working hard and overworking. When, now overworking can happen hourly, can happen daily, can happen, okay, I'm not going to say minutely. I don't even know if that's a word, but there's a difference between working hard to achieve your dreams and to achieve your goals than overworking. Yes, obviously, when you have a career, I don't earn money off YouTube, but let's say you earn money off of YouTube and YouTube is your career, it can be difficult because you're like, okay, so now I'm going to be broke if I don't do this. But take breaks, even though, especially with the platform like YouTube, I'm sorry, I'm using YouTube as such a... Uh, as an example but this is what i can work with and realist is realistic to me but with a platform like youtube as soon as i upload a video it's the next video i must think about i must think about editing the vi next video or uh, uploading the next video or scheduling the next video to go up on the set certain time it's not just i can work any time of day and that's where i must learn to be so mindful to the past where i know when i need to take breaks there's a time of day and the time of week that i must take a break and not be working and next one is just show up. Don't think that, okay, manifesting, hmm, okay, let's say you manifest money, I don't know, you, as a person, you think you should manifest money because money can come in different ways and now if you're manifest, manifesting specifically something to come a certain way, you'll block all the other ways. But showing up, don't just say, I want money. How are you going to make that money? How is your daily routine going to affect how you make that money? And I saw something, I don't know where it was. I think it was a podcast or something that said, if your goal is to go to Greece, don't just say, my goal is to have enough money to go to Greece. You could go on a worksheet to Greece and then, but now you are blocking all of that, all of those opportunities um, not because obviously you don't want to go to Greece, but because you are um, thing focusing on one specific thing. But you must, like, let's say maybe you can go on your friend's birthday to Greece and then they pay for it for you. The only you won't only need your money to go to Greece. Obviously, shopping in Greece and all of that. But if you want to go to Greece, there are many different ways where you can get that ticket. And don't just think that I must be the one to have the money and I must be the one. Yes, obviously, it's nice to be the one because you have that sense of, I can afford to go to Greece, even though you probably can. Otherwise, you wouldn't be going to Greece unless someone else is paying for you. But that that's just an example. And I, I feel like, I hope this video makes a difference. And if it does only to one person, I would really appreciate that. And if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.